you sleep. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you just rip an alien out of your stomach and finish me off completely? It's a good idea. Is there room for two in the pot? If you're lucky. See Sleeping Beauty's home. Aye. Uh, it's not ideal, is it? Having your son in the living room. Yeah, well, he was getting a bit big to sleep in the bedroom with us. I know, I know. <laughs> Do you think maybe I shouldn't have sold the house? I'm glad you did. And it'll be fun looking for a new one together. Aye. <laughs> oh, tell you. Oh, <laughs> I heard voices. I'm not interrupting, am I? Oh. You having a midnight feast? Look, you two go in there, I'll bring in the right. tea. Oh, and some Maltesers. Can't have a midnight feast without Maltesers. <laughs> Where were you tonight, you dirty wee stop out? You'll never guess, Dad. <sighs> I went out with a girl. They're different, aren't they? <laughs> They're all sort of soft and... All right, all right. Jamie, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but how long do you intend staying here? It's only been three days, Dad. Is that all? Seems more like three. It's not my fault you sold the family estate. My inheritance squandered. You chucked him out yet? Mm. Not that you're not always welcome, Jamie. Gosh, thanks, Auntie Zoe. <laughs> you know how it is. I've run out of mates to stay with. And as for Simone... You left there in a hurry. Dad, she's a praying mantis. They pray at breakfast, pray at dinner. <laughs> been like me repenting for things I didn't even know were sins. Yeah, well, shouldn't you be looking for a flat or something? I'll lend you my torch. I am, Zoe. The problem is I've got this boss who's a bit of a skin flint. Oh, yeah, I know the time. That'll do. Yeah, well, you could rent something, couldn't you? Ah. Renting is wasting. Always buy. That's what my father says. I agree with him. Me. Oh, God. <laughs> is it that late? Well, that's what we'll be doing now the house is sold. Looking for a nice little place of our own. I'll find you a nice house. Dinner worry. Come on, bring your tea. We all need our beauty sleep. There you go. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, no, I don't. Look, Derek, a trial separation is so we can realise our love is so strong nothing can rent it asunder. <laughs> Not so you can get your end away with every girl in Pinna. That's true, I don't think so. Morning, Hillary. Morning. I'll, I'll see you, Derek. Well, I won't, actually. Bye. No, Miss Flood, Hillary? No, it's not like her to be late, is it, Mr Calendar? No. She's never late. Maybe we should start dragging the River Pin. <gasps> well, yeah, the River Pin! Uh, not, not until after ten o'clock, oh? Well, excuse me, I've got a pittance to earn. <laughs> ah, Miss Flood. Calendar, I'm so sorry I'm late. Miss Flood! You look dreadful! <laughs> oh, is it? You know. Hillary, women of my age do have other problems. <laughs> Mr Calendar, it's my mother. I'm afraid she's not very well. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What happened? Well, I suppose it's her age, really. I mean, she's just become very difficult to cope with. Uh -huh. Her mind's not what it was. Uh -huh. Not a word, Hillary. <laughs> Do you not think maybe you should be at home with her? Well, I suppose I should, really, but I couldn't possibly. I'm in the office. Oh, no, no. We can manage, can't we, Hillary? Well, we won't even notice you're gone, Miss Flan. Well... No. No, I couldn't possibly, Mr Callender. No, no. Look, I insist. Now, off you go. Well, if you insist... Wish her better. Goodbye. ta -da! Good luck, Mr Callender. <laughs> to my great auntie Sarah, you know. Well, she found life difficult to cope with. No, she fell in the river pin. <laughs> Miss, we can't Miss, see we your snow Hang on, hang on, what's it for? Sponsored sweet, sponsored silence. Oh, great, can you go a month then, mate? Sponsored fast. It'll be tough, Neville. Sponsored? Oh, that's disgusting, Ivan. And totally unquantifiable. <laughs> Is there nothing they don't sponsor these days? If they sponsored my hobby, I could make some charity of fortune. Roy, counting your chest days is not a recognised event. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, Zoe, what's happening with the house? Oh, Alex getting some details from the estate agents. <sighs> Any idea what you're looking for? Yeah, a nice little house. We don't need a huge place. You should screw him for everything he's got. Then, when he pops his clogs, it's yours. Is that a direct quote from Mother Teresa? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Morris and I bought our first house. We didn't go out for a year. 
We were so scared we wouldn't be able to afford the mortgage. Yeah, but you always appreciate things more if you've struggled a bit. Oh, that's what I tell my girlfriend. <laughs> what about a sponsored knee in the groin, Zoe? Hi. No. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know. That's possible. No. Oh, no. Not where that is. Um, uh, Mr. Callender. Yes, Hilary? Is there any way that I could be of service, Mr. Callender? I don't think so, Hilary. I am here to help you. Fine, Hilary. <laughs> you name it and I'll Go do Go away, Hilary. Righty ho, Mr. Callender. Oh, Jamie, is there any way that I Not could... today, thanks, Hilary. <laughs> hey, Dad. Shh, shh. Look, I'm just getting to the interesting bit. Look at this. Five bedrooms, ensuite bathroom, lurch gridden, and double gridge. Oh, and a swimming pool. <laughs> I love swimming. Mm. Not to mention a third of an acre. Oh, overlooking the M25. <laughs> Would you mind beetling off? I've got a client due. Hey, Dad, I bet you'd be glad to move out that pokey little flat. It wasn't pokey till you arrived. <laughs> I want to find a really nice house, you know that? And I know exactly what she'd like to. Yeah, watch out for that third of an acre. You'll never catch her. Have you got any work to do? Work? Um, I use the word in a jocular sense, of course. I've come to a slight obstacle on a financial matter. How much? Tenner will do. I am not giving you a rise, you know that. I'm already paying you the going rate. Yeah, for tea pickers in Sri Lanka. Yeah, it... Don't forget to sign for it. Thrown out my family home, forced to walk the streets. <clears throat> Mrs. Simone Trevelyan, your daughter, Mr. Kelly. I know that, Hilary. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. How are you? I'm fine, darling. Fine. You look tired. It's the couple in the bedroom next door. I'm amazed that light fitting takes his weight. <laughs> it's all lies, sadly. Can't you take him back, Simone? He's threatening to move into the new house. Daddy Bill's not yet forgiven him. What for? He swapped over his church tape, bells for morning service. I thought he'd like Black Sabbath. <laughs> oh, my Derek likes them. Hillary. Oh, there's no Miss Flood to drag you away, is there? Jamie, would you uh, mind, please? Oh, I can't stop to chat now, anyway. I'm doing two jobs, you know. It's lucky I'm a jack of all trades. Mustache, Simone. I still haven't forgiven you, Daddy, for selling our home. Oh, Simone, you've got your own home. And anyway, you're always welcome in Calendar Court, wherever that is. You'll be looking for somewhere a bit out. What? In the country. Huh. Yeah. Away from uh, Mrs. Caldercourt and the good ladies of Pinner. Oh, Daddy, you know, fresh air. Peace and quiet, away from it all, the country. Uh, uh, which country, Simone? Tibet? <laughs> Jennifer! <coughs> now, where was I? Ah, yes. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, gefudge. <laughs> G-F-C-H. What's gefudge, Perry? Mr. Callender, I've got Mrs. Dunstan in reception. Who? You know, the shoplifter. <laughs> Better not leave her on her own. Why? Forgive her, Perry. She is but a child. Shame she's not going to get any older. <laughs> hey, Zoe, these stuffed peppers are terrific. Do you not find the novelty wears off after the first half dozen? <laughs> Never get better, if anything. Oh. Barber, the estate agent, sent some of his particulars. Looks good. Oh, it's ages since I looked at an estate agent's particulars. <laughs> Leave the room, please, Jamie. So, can I see them? The details? Yeah. Oh, they're in the car. Oh, I've marked some of them that we can visit tonight. Well, I'd like to see them before we go, Alex. Why? Is there an outhouse for me? Doesn't need heating. I'll just lag my sleeping bag with briefs from the office. Leave it off, will you? I'm getting enough from Hillary. Well, I could have come with you to see Bob at the estate agent. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to bother you. You've finished all the potatoes. Some parents would be thrilled. <laughs> so what did you tell him exactly? Who? Oh, Bob. Mm. Oh, you know, a nice house. A nice house? Oh, don't worry, I'll know it when I see it. Mm. Right, come on. Let's go. You've got nothing here. Hey, you're not going to leave me without a babysitter. 
Is there a number I can reach you on? Can you bring me back a bit of cake? You've got that affidavit to make out for Mr. Osrin. After the washing up. Then can I have a rise? No. Nope. <laughs> well, I like that. I thought that was rather nice, for starters. It was. It was lovely. Yeah. It just wasn't us, Alec. Oh, I think it was us. Well, I think it could be us. We could be it. <laughs> we could each be the other. Well, I've stayed in smaller hotels. Oh, with? With whom? It's just not us. Zoe, look, just trust me. I've been in this house buying business a long time. Now, there's a nice one over there you'll love. Whether I like it or not. <laughs> we'll be in touch. I don't think you're really trying. I asked questions, didn't I? Do you give your staff Sundays off is not a valid question. <laughs> I, I could really see myself in that house. Well, you live there then. Neville Godley, I want my money back. <laughs> it's tomorrow, Miss, honest. Really nice of you. <laughs> she loves it. She, she gets very excited. <laughs> what are you playing at, Zoe? What am I playing at? Look, surely you don't begrudge me a nice house. I've lived in that flat for a year. Oh, poor you. Well, you should write a book, My 13 Months in a Hatch in Prison by number 7362 McFive. You're being very touchy. Oh, come on. We can fit in one more before slopping out time. <laughs> Hi, guys. Find your dream home. Well, no one finds anything on the first day. It took me weeks to find this place. <laughs> I don't know what she wants, that woman. We have seen houses that I would have killed for at her age. I'm not being unreasonable, am I? Not at all, Dad. Right. Oh, that's it. Stick together. You should have heard yourself, Alec Callender. I want this. I want that. Oh, yes, this is me. I suppose I should have been grateful I was allowed to come. I am doing this for you, Zoe. <laughs> what do you want, a slum? I want an opinion, Alec. I want to be consulted. Am I being unfair? Not at all, Zoe. Whose side are you on? He's on mine. He knows what struggling's all about. I have to on what I'm paid. I am not paying you more because I don't wish to threaten your solidarity with the labouring classes. Threaten. Threaten. You tell him how you'd feel rattling about in a house that's got more rooms than you've got knickers. Well, what? <laughs> you tell her that some people would be thrilled to get given a dream house. Right. Get oh. given! That speaks volumes. Alec, it's like I'm on the ground floor of a tall building. Suddenly, I'm on the roof. Well, I haven't even been in the lift. Shall I tell him? You do that. It's like she's on the ground I'm floor. I'm not bloody deaf, you know. I would have thought you'd be excited at the prospect of, well, after this flat. You're missing the point. Well, what is wrong with this flat? What's well, wrong with this flat? Well, I find it can get slightly chilly. Yeah, well, there's evening. a youth hostel down the road. And while we're about it, I want the money from this flat to go towards the new house. I can afford to buy a new house without the profits from... It is your flat. Oh, like it'll be your house. Can you believe this, Jamie? Not entirely, no. Look, I'm not in the way, am I? Yes. No. You could always give me a couple of quid and I'll go to the pictures. Or a couple of grand, I'll go to the building society. <laughs> you stay where you are. I am going out for a drink. Well, Jamie, are you coming or not? Well, I... Well, I am going back to cell block H. Just don't make a noise when you come into my bedroom. You're a great help, weren't you? I'll do what I can, you know. <laughs> You'll like this cake. It's one I made earlier. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't think so, but I'd... Uh... Thank you very much. What's going on here? Lovely. Mr Green! Mrs Curtis. Oh, yes. yes. I'm afraid you're a wee bit... I don't get it. Oh, no, memento. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Green is divorcing his wife, Mrs. Green. Yes. And Mrs. Curtis is divorcing her husband, Mr. Curtis. Yes. So I thought if I made their appointments together, they could get to know each other. <laughs> Cheer them up a bit. I don't believe this. It's inspired. It's insane. And I've started putting these little seed packets in with every conveyance for first-time buyers. What? Well, Miss Flood was okay in her own way, but she weren't really 
brilliant ideas person, was she? Typing, Hillary. Oh, when I can. <laughs> oh, your daughter's been on the phone. She's found a nice house near St Albans. Perhaps I could ask Miss Flood if she could take her mother to Lourdes. Very baldy. Three double burdens. Gifit. Gifitch? Oh, no, Zoe. I couldn't have moved there. Where are the seven dwarfs going to live? <laughs> it's OK. She won't be back yet. Oh, are you sure, Jamie? <laughs> Just trust me, OK? OK. Be gentle with me. Don't worry, I'll respect you in the morning. <laughs> You've always liked them skinny, haven't you? Where's Alec? Oh, he's at the office repairing the filing system. Hillary had it divided into nice clients and nasty ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, what news of Miss Flood? Oh, she's still looking after her mum. Dad's turned to prayer. You know, I think she's enjoying the fact that the office can't run without her. Makes her feel needed. I'm glad I'm not a woman. I, I can't think like that. And the clothes itch. <laughs> <laughs> so how's the house hunting guy? Oh, he's still doing all the eye business. It's the fact that he's making all the decisions. Oh, Zoe, I'll find you a nice house. Dinner, worry. Zoe, can I tell you something about my mum? Of course. You see, Dad's always been, well... <laughs> the provider that's why he's like how he is mum could never get her head round bills and stuff yeah but i'm not like that i'm independent yeah, yeah hang on i'm in mid-saga <laughs> zoe do you honestly believe dad chose our house well judging by how he is now i'd say yes mum chose it what how did she do that drug him no the look the what the look oh come on you know what i mean you you've all got it <laughs> i put on a new shirt i'd bought Saved up all my pocket money. Really fancied myself in it. Mum didn't say anything. She just gave me the look. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I'd never wear that shirt again. You took such blether. The look. Oh, sorry I'm late. I've just been nailing Hillary to the ceiling. <laughs> Look, I thought you might like to read these. Some of the houses we're seeing tonight, there's some crackers. Ah. Oh. Whiskey. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Very interesting. It needs a bit of work, but it could be very nice. <clears throat> it just... it just needs a bit of imagination. That's it. That's the one. I was keeping it till last. <laughs> not small, not palatial. I'll be honest, Zoe. That's the one I think we should have. OK. Well, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Come on. Best foot forward. Cracked it. I don't know what you mean. You are up to something. I can sense it. Daddy, I've done all my homework. Can I... Stay up and watch the porn channel. You're not as daft as you look, are you? Actually, you couldn't be. Did it work? Yeah, it was great. But you Another. You two are thick as thieves, aren't you? What are you up to? Up to? Have I been up to something? Not with me, you haven't. I can't put my finger on it. But I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. You're rambling, Alec. Aha! It's the look. The what? His mother used to give it to me. Yes, it's all coming back. Ah, so what do you do, eh? Practice in the ladies' loo? But I just happen not to have seen a house I like, OK? We have seen most of Pinner. We've seen the best side, the worst side, the top side, the bottom side. We've seen Tudor, Mock Tudor, Mock Mock Tudor, Deco, Art Deco. What do you want, blood? I'm oh, talking to Miss Flood. We weren't. <laughs> I've had an idea how to get her back. Short of shooting her mother, which is still an option, there's not a lot we can do. Yeah, but Dan... Would you mind? We're in the middle of an argument. This could damage me. I'll be scarred for life. <laughs> Don't tempt me. OK, we'll play it your way. Same time tomorrow, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You are doing it again? Your eyes must be in a funny place, Alec. <laughs> there goes my bedtime story. <laughs> now, you'll like Mr Calendar. He ain't like normal bosses. He's always having a joke and a laugh. Yeah, he's ever so... Oh, there he is. What's going on? A Women's Institute Social? Oh. Hillary, my office, please. <sighs> 
Well, it's just his little way. <laughs> you converse amongst yourselves. Have you a minute? Hilary, I went along with the cake. Oh, you had three slices. I accepted the matchmaking. <laughs> I can't quite get my head around the cuddly toys. Oh, it's a crate. What? <laughs> Even criminals have children, Mr. Callender. Look, Hilary, I draw the line at you inviting your pals into the office for a chat. Oh, they ain't my pals, no. They're competing to replace me. Now that I'm Miss Flood. Now that you're... Well, Miss Hilary, really. Now, your daughter Simone's been on the phone. She's found a nice house near Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes? And you've got a busy day ahead. Four new clients, a conveyance, a nuisance, an annulment, and a fraud. And I've slung a couple more clients into Jamie. As if I haven't got enough on my mind. Clients, too. Don't you kick a gift horse in the teeth, Mr. Callender. Especially since you're buying a new house. Now, I found this when I was doing a little tidying. You was probably looking for it. It's nice. What? Mm. Oh, yeah. No. No, that... Oh, I don't know, though. OK, Hilary. Look, you get rid of your girlfriends, will you? Tell them there's no vacancy here, OK? Oh, <laughs> I understand, Mr Callender. I suppose you're right. You could never find another me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're right, Hilary. Oh. <laughs> Lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> Raffle tickets this time. I've just bought ten for a Romanian ambulance. Where would you put it? You haven't got a garage. <laughs> you don't win it, Roy. You pay for it. So, how's the house hunting? Uh, if I see another gold-plated B-Day, I'll scream. <laughs> My girlfriend's got a musical toilet train. Is that one? Classical, mine. She went to private school. <laughs> Zoe, it's Alec. Oh, don't tell me. Meals on Wheels haven't turned up. How about a sponsored walk? You can start on the window ledge. <laughs> OK. OK, I'll meet you after the office. Bye. Alex found the dream house. Oh, another one. There's just one little problem. But he'll tell me about that later. It's probably next to an old folks home, and he's worried about the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Most enjoyable. Thank you. I'll be in touch. <laughs> <clears throat> What do you think? Say that again, Alec. I'm asking you, what did you think? Is it your kind of house? Well, why do you see something? Oh, I get it. You're building up to the look. <laughs> what look, Alec? You asked for my opinion. Well, of course I did. It's a joint decision, for heaven's sake. I love it. Every bit of it. It's us, Alec. You and me. Not just you and you. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Sold to the lady in the red leotard. <laughs> now, we have only one wee problem to overcome. The wee problem. Aye. Do you think we dare? Oh, listen, I can't go through all this again. Look, it has four nice oh. bedrooms. Gas-fired central heating. Uh, Gefurch. 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 <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> right, come on, quick. Before we change our minds... You sure about this? Shut up, Jamie. Now, come on, darling, just sign just there, huh? Have you read the small print? Hang on, what is it? It's to put the house in our joint names. Yours and mine. Oh, Ali. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I only wanted me for my money. That's what everyone's been saying. Uh, Mr. Callender, mm -hmm. I've got this man coming in at ten about a neon sign outside the office. What? Well, I Cal thought it'd be... Oh, Miss Flood. Oh, no. There is a god. I decided that my duties lay here. But w what about your mother? My sister and her husband are looking after her. Ah. Well, I'll be putting out my last bit of Black Forest thing. Oh, welcome back, Miss Flood. I had such plans. <laughs> I could kiss you, do you oh. know that? Oh. oh, dear. Well, I can see that you're busy, so I'll go and start putting things back to normal. I may be gone some time. <laughs> How did you do it? 
I kept telling her how awful things were and she wouldn't budge. I told her what a terrific job Hillary was doing not to hurry back. <laughs> her feet didn't touch the ground. You make a great liar. A uh, lawyer. Both. I wasn't lying. Why do you think we've been getting more clients these days? What? Mr. Callender, your daughter. Fasten your seatbelts. She knows who I am. Daddy, how could you? Hi, Simone. I hope you can explain yourself. Well, I just wanted to be near my grandchildren. But across the road from the vicarage, Daddy. <laughs> Diagonally across, Simone. Mm. After all the properties I sent you. Well, we just loved the house. But what about Mrs. Caldicott? She can find her own house. I'm not having her sleeping on my sofa. Bedfordshire. There are some lovely properties in Bedfordshire. I am beginning and... to feel, you know, that I'm not wanted around here. Oh, nonsense, Daddy. We're always pleased to see you, just not out of our window. Well, draw your curtains, Simone. So, Simone, how's the street of shame taking the news? Oh, you probably think it's hysterical. <laughs> I'm just relieved they both found a house they like. They were driving me mad. Oh, sorry to inconvenience you. Well, I persuaded Bill to forgive you, God knows why, so you can come back to the vicarage. A church fate worse than death. <laughs> that won't be necessary. What? What? Jamie, meet your new landlord. Who? Me. You can rent my flat. You'd seem to take a fancy to it. Oh, Zoe, it's a, it's a great idea, but, well... Well, what? I reckon you'd be charging me a pretty high rent, don't you? Yeah, but we can come Zoe. to some... Oh, yes. Oh, I doubt if you'd be able to afford it on what you're being paid. Oh, shucks. <laughs> Seemed like such a good idea, didn't it? <laughs> Just a minute. This is a conspiracy, isn't it, eh? OK, I'll consider it. <laughs> you... <coughs> <coughs> I don't think you two are taking this seriously. Oh, you have to admit it's a lovely house, Simone. Uh, <laughs> you see that? That's the look. What look, Alec? What look, Daddy? I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll practice. <laughs> I'll practice on Perry. <laughs> 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 